A new Harvard medical study is raising concerns about the reliability of those public defibrillators, sometimes found in offices or shopping malls. Researchers say one in five of the machines has been recalled and 370 deaths have been blamed on defibrillator failure. Though the study does note that despite the failure rate and the recent recalls, the devices are still credited with saving tens of thousands of lives. Imagine a one-hour outpatient procedure that can eliminate small tumors with local anesthesia. No surgery, no scars. We're talking about a whole new way to treat cancer. And here to tell us more about how this medical breakthrough works is medical correspondent and author, Dr. Christine Dumas. Now, it's called RFA, radio frequency ablation. So what does it do and how does it differ from how we usually treat cancer? Molly, doctors usually have three things that they use to fight cancer, drugs, surgery, and radiation. And with this new procedure, RFA, what's involved is taking a specialized needle and guiding it into a tumor and then zapping it with heat. You heat it up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit and it kills the tumor. And I was speaking to Dr. Peter Julian who's starting a um, big clinical trial at Cedar sinai And what he told me was that with this procedure, you can take somebody who's older, who is maybe too weak to withstand a full-scale surgery and get to the tumor without the downtime of having the surgery and the risk involved of the surgery. And like you said, it only takes about an hour and a lot of patients go home the same day. I know one person who was out sailing the next day. That is just incredible and a local Isn't anesthesia. Uh, so, and it seems so simple that heat uh, blasts these tumors. I know, it's really amazing. Um, what they're looking at this working best for, Molly, is for patients who are older and who have small tumors. So we're looking at tumors in the kidney, in the liver, in the lungs, even in the breast. And, you know, I've seen a lot of families really torment themselves because a lot of people who have cancer have lots of other issues involved, too. They have got high blood pressure, they may be overweight, they may have diabetes. And what families struggle with is, you know, in the course of trying to get to the cancer and to treat the tumor, is the person going to withstand the surgery? And so with this, you have a really nice option. And what we're going to be seeing with more clinical trials, um, now the clinical trials are small groups of people. You see really good results. But as we start to look at bigger groups, we'll be able to see better. Could we do this on younger patients who have a longer lifespan? And I think um, a lot of doctors are thinking this is going to be the wave of the future. So right now this is in clinical trials. They're going to watch these groups getting bigger and bigger, uh, more and more people involved in them to see if this could be open to the general population or people who have cancer. I mean, it's really, and for people now, though, if you're older, you don't think you might be able to withstand the surgery, definitely talk to your doctor about this because it's definitely worth a try, and the results have been very promising and very exciting. Oh, thank you, Dr. Christine Dumas. That's Thanks, really Molly. good to hear. It's encouraging. Thanks for joining us.